Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point. I'm in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 1. It says, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Okay, so now this is Apostle Paul speaking and he's speaking to the church of Ephesians. And he's saying that he's a prisoner of the Lord. And we know that Apostle Paul is an example for us brothers today. Or should I say, let's just let's just say the elect okay but it starts with the men okay with the prophets who the lord anointed to go out and teach so for all of us who are of the hopeful elect that believe in the lord we are prisoners of the lord okay prisoners of the lord and he said beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye were called and we also know precepts say many are called but few are chosen and we hope to be the chosen, so we follow the, the instructions to hopefully be the chosen, all right? Because many are called and few are chosen. Now, it says, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord. So, Apostle Paul is a prisoner of the Lord. We are prisoner of, prisoners of the Lord, meaning we follow the Lord wherever he go. Now, if he's in chains, we in chains, all right? If the Lord, when the Lord returned, all right and receive his glory we're going to receive glory now i want to just go into the word prisoner and give some insight which brothers you know already know you know no no know what know what this is going into it strong's g 1198 desmias desmias okay it says desmias which is the greek word for prisoner desmias it says bound and bonds a captive a prisoner all right it says prisoner being bound being bonds and bound and bonds excuse me uh bound, a captive as bound and bonds prisoner all right so you know that a prisoner he's bound all right and it says in bonds now when you look this word bonds up right a quick definition search Check this out. It says, a bond between people is a strong feeling of friendship, love, or shared belief and experience that unites them. And what is this experience that unites us? All right. For, uh, let me say, first off, it's Yahweh, okay, who created the spirits, which was Yahweh Shai first, and then, then the Alahayims, which we understand to be what? The first fruits. Okay, they're already bound together, okay, through the word of the Lord. But then the experience, when Yahweh Shai came and taught this word, which he taught us to teach, to carry on the torch while we are in his absence and waiting for his return, that we were going to catch the same hell that he would. We were going to go through the same street gates that he went through. So him being returned to receive the glory, we're going to receive the glory. So it says a bond between people. And that's why it's making me think of Paul when he said in Romans, what's that, 8 and 35 and down, there shall be no uh, principalities, uh, anything to separate our love from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, nor principality, nor nakedness, nor apparel, nor sword. It says a bond between people is a strong feeling of friendship, strong feeling of friendship, love, which we understand love is keeping the commandments, as Yahweh Shai said. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. It says, or shared beliefs and experience that unites them. You see that? It says, the experience created a very special bond between us. So by Yahweh Shai laying his life down, okay, being that ultimate sacrifice, that sheep, all right, spilling his blood for the, the children of Israel, in particular the elect, Okay, that joined us, you know, that bond unto him for eternity. All right, Yahweh Shah is coming back to give us new bodies, a new world, you know, a refreshed heaven. Okay, he's coming to bring righteousness and for us to live in harmony. 
all right it says the experience created a very special bond between us the bond that linked them <laughs> it says when people bond with each other they form a a relationship based on love what is love the commandments or shared beliefs and experience meaning we believe that yahweh sent yahweh shai we believe in yahweh shai to be the son of the most high it says you can also say that people bond or that some something bond binds them hey just when just said it man yahweh uh, bond okay the elect to yahweh shai when yahweh shai was in the earth he had to search for the men and it was yahweh that gave him those men all right, those men that was going to have the gift of faith and believe in him, okay, and believe in the Heavenly Father. So, you know, that prisoner, man, when you go into the word bond, it shows you how strong and powerful this word is, man. Um, I think it was something else I saw. A bond between people or groups is a close connection that they have with each other, for an example, because they have a special agreement. Ooh. A special agreement man all right the kingdom a strong bond between church and nation all right. yeah Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is the head of the church the nation is Yasha Allah the Israelites which Esau wants to stop us from being a nation being in Yasha Allah it says there are tangible signs that the Republicans successfully break in the bond right right uh, bonds are feelings, duties. Ooh, duty. See, feelings. All right, we have this uh, feeling, this zeal, this love for Yahweh Shai, okay, for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we have duties that go along with it. All right, teaching his word until he come. It says, or customs that force you to behave in a particular way. Ooh, I just seen this, man. You know, customs, which are uh, our Hebrew customs. All right, as Peter said, um, uh, order thy way in our conversation of right, I go. I'll probably leave a uh, the post-production scripture up. Can't think of the wording, and I don't want to butcher it. Um, have our conversation. Anyway, I'll leave it up. But it says, and it, put, um, it says, or customs that force you to behave in a particular way. So there's a certain way that the men of the Lord, let's say the elect, all right, and even the elected women, right, who are gonna come in the ministry under the men, under her husband, okay, they were gonna put, um, they were gonna behave in a particular way. You're not gonna be some she brew. You're not gonna be some super brew, all right? You're not gonna be a nigger brew. You're gonna be a Hebrew, and you conduct yourself in a holy manner, meaning to be separate, you know? getting away from the bullshit of this world not adding this world this wickedness of our people into this truth no that gets cut out man this is why the lord called us to be what holy man okay so let's see okay it says a bond between two things is the way in which they stick to one another or are joined in some way all right, so the elect is stuck unto Yahweh Shai. All right, by the word, by the Rakhak Wadash, the Holy Spirit. All right, by the brothers, you know, which, bro, we all fell away and we were asleep in the world. But then the Lord, you know, blew his breath, all right, going into Ezekiel's prophecy, all right, where the Israelites would get that knowledge, understanding, and wisdom again and stand upon their feet. This is what's happening right now. A bond between two things is a way, a bond, a bond, excuse me, a bond between two things is the way in which they stick to one another or are joint to some or joint in some way. The super glue may not create a bond, a bond, a bond with some plastic anyway. All right. And, it, and I ain't read all this. This is my first time reading all of this. I read a little bit. You know to cue this up but i didn't read the rest of these um okay when a government or company issues a bond it borrows money from investors hey you could say that dealing with this truth 
all right because the lord have truly given us what those measures of talents he given us this money and it's for us to go out there and multiply it all right to invest we invest in it we put it out there and we watch it grow we bring back double it all right so it says when a government or company issues a bond it borrows money from an investors the certificate which is issued to investors who, who lend, lend money is also called a bond a bond business yeah because this is the lord's business you know so you know that word bond goes a long way and it proves you know how strong you know the lord word is with his uh, elect with with his elect all right so ephesians 4 and 1 i therefore the prisoner of the lord beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you were called now the word vocation just means to be just means to call okay uh the word vocation Strong's G 2821 Clasis Clasis Okay Clasis for voc for vocation it says a calling calling to a call invitation you know so what did the Lord do he gave us this invitation to his marriage man and he told us to go out there and call the rest of the elect to the marriage you know so that fit perfectly in the script to the scriptures precepts man to a feast of the divine invitation to embrace salvation of Yahweh. You know? So there you go. So let's read it one more time. Ephesians 4 and 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy. The important word there is worthy. You know, that's why we have to examine ourselves to see whether we are walking rightly in this truth. All right? So it says, ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called all right the scriptures say many are called but few are chosen so this race is not a race like a 40 yard dash this race is a marathon which is who that shall and he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be safe now i gotta read verse two it says with all lowliness and meekness and long suffering for bearing one another in love all right so you know, I leave it at that. It's a quick hit. I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.